Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have a quick video sharing how I like to place my waffle flower grip mat inside my Misty stamping tool. Now waffle flower did send me some grip mats, but I have purchased all of these grip mats for my brand new rose quartz misties. Yes, I have a few of them. <laughs> And you can see more about those in my five crafty things I'm loving right now. But this waffle flower grip mat is designed to take the place of the foam pad that comes inside of your Misty stamping tool. So I've started by removing that black foam pad from my Misty, and now I'm removing the protective covers from my waffle flower grip mat. Now this is the one that's designed to fit inside the Misty stamping tool. Now the first time I'm doing this, I'm doing this according to the instructions on the packaging for the waffle flower grip mat. And I'm placing this in my Misty stamping tool with the backside facing up towards the camera. Then I am taking the alignment grid and I'm lining it up with the grid on my Misty stamping tool and placing it on the back side of this waffle flower grip mat. Then I can flip this over and place it into my Misty stamping tool and it's ready to go. Now there will be a gap around all four edges of the grip mat between the actual photopolymer and the grid placement guide to keep that grip mat secure inside your Misty. But I have found this way to be a lot easier for me when placing my grip mats into my Misty. I've started by placing the grid alignment guide right lined up with the grid of my Misty. Then starting in the bottom lower right corner for me, I'm kind of rolling the grip mat onto that grid alignment. And I found that I get perfect alignment this way and it's so much easier for me than trying to look through the grip mat to position the grid. Now the grip mat will hold your paper pretty securely in place, but if you find you need backup, your Misty Magnet does still work through the Waffle Flower Grip Mat. And if you choose, you can store it with one of the protective sheets in place. I generally just close the lid of my Misty and place it in a drawer, and that keeps it pretty well secured. Now when it's time to clean this, you can just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth or a baby wipe, or you can clean it in your sink with some soap and water. But I am finding that I absolutely love having these waffle flower grip mats in my Misty stamping tools. They hold my paper securely. And I just thought this little helpful hint of rolling it onto the grid might be helpful for you too. Now you can see I can easily remove it from my Misty stamping tool. And then when I position it back inside my Misty, I just make sure the outer edges are placed and pushed down so that it's gripping the base of the Misty. Now the waffle flower grip mats are large pieces of photopolymer that are perfectly designed for whatever size you may need. I have several sizes that I use in my craft room. And you can see because photopolymer is kind of a naturally tacky material, it's holding my paper in place as I do my stamping, even with this large, very sticky kind of sentiment stamp. There's no additional adhesive involved in these, and I find that my paper doesn't curl and warp like when I use some sticky mats that are in my craft room. Now, I do use my sticky mats for other purposes, but you can see that this is just a great tool to have on hand. I use these a lot for ink blending as well. Now, when it gets a little dusty or loses its tack, I just use some stamp cleaner and a microfiber cloth and clean it down, and then it's restuck. I have waffle flower grip mats in all three of my new rose quartz misties from scrapbook.com. I purchased these myself and I hope this quick tip helps you out when you're positioning your waffle flower grip mat inside of your misty stamping tool. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications here so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. You'll find links to the products talked about in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.